Shook it up. Good morning, guys. So, today I had a plan. I was meant to be recording a lingerie try on, but unfortunately, last night I binged and I'm not proud of myself. Yesterday, I actually went for my hypnotherapy to help me with the feelings that I was going to binge and that I was going to overeat. And I don't know whether it just didn't help or whether it brought stuff to the surface, but I thought I'd just have one session and I've actually been booked in for another one because we didn't kind of come to a conclusion. And then last night I binged, I overate, I ate a load of shit food and I was meant to be doing a lingerie try on and now I'm extremely bloated which I'll show you now in a second. So as you know, I normally have quite defined abs and look quite svelte. Um, but I've had, I've been having these feelings for the past couple of weeks and I haven't had them in a long time. And I have been kind of overeating on occasion and it happened again last night and it was a proper full on binge where I just couldn't stop myself. And I just wanted to share it with you because I think there is the perception that people are very perfect and that you know you can just overcome it but i think even the people who have binged in the past it is something that you have to kind of fight internally um for a very long time so i thought i'd just take you through what i'm going to do today because now i'm not going to have my lingerie haul because i need to kind of shift this water weight to feel a bit more confident because i want to do a lingerie haul that is about body confidence and feeling sexy and right now I don't feel sexy and I don't feel confident so I'm going to try and shift this weight and then maybe record that tomorrow for next week. So what do you do different after you've binged? Should I go and do a shit ton of cardio? Should I starve myself for the day? No. That is the main thing that I've learned because then it's like a binge purge mentality which is another extreme i'm not saying that i'm going to eat regular amount of food i will pull back my macros a little bit today but not in a punishment kind of way and i will just kind of wait this morning and fast for the morning until i feel a little bit better because right now i feel crappy guys i don't feel good i've ate way too much food my stomach is all bloated and to be honest me and lex went out for a meal on sunday night and today is wednesday so on sunday we went out for a meal i we went out for a three course meal and it was really nice and it wasn't a binge it wasn't overeating i had calculated it into my macros here comes a little doggy i was feeling a little bit not bloated but like you know full on monday so i hadn't like pulled my macros back or anything on Monday, just went back to my macros as normal, went back to my training and it had dropped back to off again yesterday. Also, I have just got my period, so I suppose that binge can have something to do with obviously PMT and you know the chocolate cravings, but it isn't an excuse either. You should not use your period or your time of the month as an excuse to overeat because then it's just a cycle of once a month you do this like crazy binge eating i know when i get my period i do crave the wrong foods it's like i have this kind of empty feeling when i'm I, i've got my period that i just even though i'm not really hungry i just kind of want to eat uh, every woman understands this that's watching and i kind of don't want to eat you know like you don't want to eat your dinner you want to eat like something really like crappy instead of a dinner but last night i i made dinner and i i try was trying to fulfill my cravings with my dinner by making like a, a cheesy protein pasta because i kind of felt like oh that'll satisfy me but it obviously didn't and then i had just ate all the wrong foods so. today i am just this morning particularly because when you have overeaten you're going to be extremely bloated and that's how i'm feeling so i'm just going to drink loads of water and try and flush it through and at least that'll make me feel a bit better i haven't weighed myself and i think that is also a good thing because if you weigh yourself you are just kind of feeding into this negativity so i'm not going to weigh myself and i'm just going to get back to my regular day and kind of have breakfast have lunch dinner 
and just get back to it and hopefully by the end of the day I'll be feeling better and I have booked in for another hypnotherapy session next week and I will tell him what has happened and I'm also going to to be honest it's my off season and I haven't checked in with my coach in about two weeks and I'm just kind of afraid that when I message him he's going to be mad at me if one of my clients checked in with me and said I'm having issues with binge eating um, I'm having a tough time I wouldn't be mad at her I wouldn't be annoyed at her for binge eating I just try and help her so I don't know why I'm avoiding telling my coach and if he is mad at me maybe he's not the right coach for me because that's not that's not a very supportive environment anyway but um, I don't think he is going to be mad at me I think he will be quite supportive so um, I'm just afraid <laughs> You're not being chastised like going to your your parents to tell them you've done something wrong so i am going to go to him now and message him and just say i've been having issues and see what he wants to do i'm just afraid as well because i do want to start a prep soon and i don't want to start from my original starting place last time i don't want to be at that heavy weight and i think i am quite conscious of my weight has crept up a bit and I don't want to start it's not that I'm obsessed with my weight guys don't take it like that I am I do not have an eating disorder as such right now I'm just going through a rough patch where and I have acknowledged that rough patch and I am getting help and I'm not um I'm not purging I'm not starving myself I am doing what I'm meant to be doing so do not worry about me um but I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think it is something that affects a lot of women. A lot of you guys are affected by binge eating and it is completely normal and I did talk about this in my, my fitness journey video that I've put up previously. Even last night it was the same cycle of Lex went to the gym late, I was left alone and that's when I did it and I need to start seeing that as my trigger and just not giving into it because it was like it's like a trigger for me something that i don't feel good about myself he leaves me on my own and while i'm isolated i feel like this is my opportunity and as soon as he came back in the damage was already done i haven't admitted this to him i feel like i'd be embarrassed to admit this to him that he'd also judge me like the way i feel my 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 coach would judge me so i am just kind of holding it back and sharing with you guys so that i can share with i suppose the world i feel like you're like my friend that i can confide in so maybe for you if it's happening to you maybe find someone that you feel like you can confide in and that isn't going to judge you and you know hypnotherapy for me it does work and right now I am working through some issues I'm not really sure what those issues are that's the problem I don't really know what's going on that has caused me to feel the way I feel right now I think maybe it's just a build-up of pressure right now but I'm not really sure and sometimes there isn't something specific but if there is something that is specific that is triggering you maybe you need to get to the root of that problem and then just resolve it once and for all because I know previously where I had been binging there was a root to the problem and I did resolve it so that's what I'm trying to do this time again I want to fix this issue so I can kind of ha live a normal lifestyle I'm not trying to be this perfect person I'm not trying to be 100% happy 100% of the time because that isn't achievable but I can just live a nice steady lifestyle and continue to put out good and positive content for you guys that isn't revolving around negativity and that's what I want to do I want to show that we can get past these blips so right now I haven't showered I haven't done anything so I'll excuse the face but I'm just going to show you what I am looking like because this is what I would look like when I am bloated so I know I don't look extremely fat or anything but as you can see I've got like a distended belly I've got way less definition in my tummy compared to what I normally look like 
and one thing as well is that my legs definitely hold a lot more water when I'm bloated and I just feel I'm still in my PJ so excuse that but like I'm trying to suck it in right I can't I can't suck in my tummy and my tummy is normally like proper flat guys I know there's probably people watching going girl you crazy you know you have a great physique but you have to compare it to what I normally look like and normally I do have a much flatter tummy and I normally don't have this kind of water retention around the middle that I have going on right now and I just a lot of times it's not even about how you look guys it's about how you feel and I feel like crap after last night there's nothing wrong with admitting that you feel like you look like crap it doesn't mean I hate myself or that you know I'm like hating my body I'm just saying that right now, in this moment, I feel like crap because I binge and I didn't want to do that and I regret it. The main goal of today is not to dwell on it and punish myself for the entire day. I've done it, there's nothing I can do. I can't go back in time and undo it. But what I can do is try and fix the problem through my hypnotherapy and for today, just eat a super healthy balanced diet for the day i'll go and i'll do some cardio in the gym just to help make myself feel better nothing about burning calories this will just mentally help me overcome the fact that i overate and i binged last night and i'm going to just feel better about myself i'm going to move that food around and just feel a bit better right now i'm going to go and have drink a load of water i'm going to have a coffee because that's what I do in the morning and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm not going to change, have this kind of process and cycle of, oh, when I binge I have to do this because then I'm just getting myself into an even worse rut and I'm just magnifying it and making it a new kind of system that I'm going through and I don't want to do that. I don't want to give it that air time. Right now I'm just talking about it because I simply was going to record a video and now I don't have content and I'm like what the fuck am I, I've completely sabotaged my week and my plans for content for my channel because I was going to record it today, edit it today, put it up tomorrow and now I'm like crap what have I done? What a stupid thing to do. Right now I want to share it with you guys because I want to be honest and I want to be open about what I do. If you don't like this video and you think that I shouldn't be putting out this kind of content Go and watch some of the other girls that don't admit to it and don't admit to their flaws because no one is freaking perfect. Not one person in this world is perfect and people who don't admit to their flaws are hiding stuff and if that's what they want to perceive to the world and that's what they want to put out there, that's fine. But this is what I want to put out there. I want to put out real and raw information that may not be appealing to everyone because they may think I'm getting bogged down and being negative. But I feel like this is a positive video because I am acknowledging that I've done something wrong. I am sharing it with you guys and now I feel like I'm really preaching but I'm sharing it with you guys even though I feel uncomfortable about sharing it with people. I'm just hoping that someone will watch this and feel a little bit better about themselves and they will find the strength to go and talk to someone or they will find the strength to go and say I have a problem right now and I need to assess this problem and I need to get help. I think the moral of my story today is that there is no easy way to get past the binging. I get asked this all the time, I get messages on social media, how do I get past my binging? How do I stop this? There is no easy way to do it and I wish there was something that could just click and stop me from doing it but I know that hypnotherapy has helped me and I'm hoping that going back and talking through my issues and getting to the root of the problem and what is causing this will help me get past it and help me to move on and help me to have a better relationship with food. I know if you're watching this you are probably hoping that I can give you some defined solution to binge eating but the one thing you can do is to acknowledge it and talk to someone about it and try and get help. Even by watching this you've acknowledged that this is an issue with yourself and that is a step in the right direction. So go and talk to a friend or someone that you trust and you think is not going to judge you and is not going to is going to understand you and you will be surprised by who will understand what you're going through and will say yeah I've done that before because 
I guarantee you there are a lot of people out there who have used food as a tool to make themselves feel better. And the majority of the time, it doesn't make you feel better at all. It has the opposite effect. So I'm gonna leave the video here and hopefully my next video will be a lot more positive. As you can tell, I'm gonna have a lingerie haul coming and it's gonna be all about body positivity and how you can feel sexy with curves and sexy with cellulite and stretch marks and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with showing people that you feel good about yourself because that is my main goal. It's not to be self-hating and self-loathing. It is to appreciate my body in every step of my journey and my journey is ongoing it doesn't get to a point or a pinnacle where i look amazing and then that's it your body is your body for life you have this until you're gray and old so to appreciate it as you get wrinkles and as you get cellulite and stretch marks and all the markings of life to appreciate yourself in every part of that journey is the journey so I just want to be able to go through life and have a good, healthy relationship with food, my body, myself, my, my self-worth. And that is a big thing. If you're binging, there is an issue there with self-worth and there is an issue there that needs to be looked at and you need to assess it and correct it for yourself to move on and be able to have a healthier relationship around food. So I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. If you have any questions about counseling or about hypnotherapy, hit me up in the, question, in the comment box below. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video you're after watching, go and check out the rest of my videos and subscribe. Make sure to turn on the notifications so that you can see all my content because it will be real and it will be raw and it will always be a genuine content that I put out there because I'm not going to give in to what people are looking for, this false contrived content. I am just gonna be me and I am just going to be putting out this kind of content of me in my pajamas with no makeup on, feeling bloated after a binge. Love you guys as always. Thank you so much for your support on all my social media. Check you next time. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.